Hey guys, this is Tiju22, and uh, I just wanted to bring up two things. One, uh, as a result of Luigi winning uh, his number one contenders match, yes, in addition to uh, becoming, the, becoming the number one contender to the uh, Intercontinental Championship, he also won the, um, the, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Um, of course, he, of course, uh, although that reign will, although the, uh, although that'll count, uh, in the record books of him winning the championship, uh, but he gave the championship to his best friend, Yoshitatsu. Uh, he'll be defending it later tonight, maybe, maybe not, it depends on how long these matches go. But I also wanted to bring up issue number two, and that is, Randy Savage has died. The real... Randy Savage got in a car accident, had a heart attack at the wheel, caused him to go off the road and run into a tree. No one else got hurt, and uh, the only other passenger that was in that car was his wife, and she su suffered minor injuries, but Randy Savage apparently died on impact, and as a result of that, he, he, he's gone. All I can say is rest in peace, Macho Man. All I can and just and tell God and just tell God when you meet him and tell him Ooh yeah Just tell him that. But 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 uh let's actually but uh but even though he's physically gone in this game, he'll still his legacy will live on. So with that in mind, let's get started. So, yeah, I cooked up something special for Randy Savage, especially for this occasion here. And here's Primo, but, um... But I'll skip his entrance so, I, so we can get to this one. What an incredible song that was. That was Pomp and Circumstance by um, Edward Elger um, back in 1901. And, uh, and of course, uh, all credit goes to their respective owners. And of course, song credits do go to their respective owners. No copyright infringement intended. Okay, so now we have this match between the Macho Man, Randy Savage, against Primo. And, and uh, Macho Man gives Primo uh, a mule kick. And follows it up with a neck breaker. Oh, and a rake in the eyes. And uh, and he takes him back and he takes him down to the knees, but 
and he was going for a submission hold, but uh, Primo was too close to the ropes there. But as far as in my LP is concerned, uh, the Macho Man has won himself an opportunity to headline WrestleMania to face the WWE Champion, whoever that person may be at this at the time that it happens. And a hip toss, and a hip toss to Primo. And Primo, oh, and another rake in the eyes. What the hell? Come on, have some respect for the Macho Man, would you please? And, oh my god. Now Macho Man is in the groove. He's on fire right now. Once he, once he goes like, once he's like that, he's just, he just can't be stopped. Oh, and a huge punch right to Primo. And now, wait a minute. Uh, okay, what are you doing, Macho Man? Oh, he's going to set him up for... Oh, wait. I thought for a moment... Oh, I thought for a moment he was going to go up for that elbow. And a, and a bulldog to the Macho Man. And now, what's Macho Man doing? DDT. And a back elbow to the Macho Man. And the Macho Man back body drops uh, Primo. Oh yeah, says the Macho Man. And I am number one. Incredible. And the Macho Man just... And wait a minute, he gets back body dropped. And clothesline outside the ring by Primo. And now Primo's going to follow it up with... Oh my god, what a move from off the top rope by Primo onto the Macho Man. And he follows it up with a forearm shot. And a mule kick. And now the Macho Man... Okay, both of them make it back in the ring. Oh, and a back elbow to the Macho Man. Whip over the top rope. And a drop kick that sends Primo to the outside. And Macho Man is just and Macho Man is just getting funky like a monkey. Ooh yeah. And what? A, a neck breaker to the referee? What the hell are you doing, Macho Man? What the hell? A ma well. I guess that's what happens when you're dead. I mean, you do stupid stuff. You do stupid stuff like that when you're dead, as opposed to when you're alive. But, but that, but that was a neck breaker by the by the uh, Macho Man. I don't know if it was an accident or not, but whip into the ropes. And an arm ringer flip. Followed by a leg drop onto the arm of the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And a back elbow by the Macho Man. But Primo counters into a dragon screw and then kicks the Macho Man in the back. And a knife edge chopped by the Macho Man. Oh! Oh, wow! Wow, two consecutive knees right to the nuts. Oh, and a poke in the eyes of the Macho Man. I mean, how disrespectful can Primo be? Oh, and a reverse neck breaker. And another rake in the eyes. I mean, Primo's just... just Primo can't get anything going against the Macho Man, and the Macho Man follows it up with a chop block to the back of the leg and a knee to the gut and a forearm shot by Primo and then Primo follows it up with a kick to the leg whip into the ropes leapfrog sent over the top rope and out to the floor and now Primo's gonna go right after him but the macho man gets back up And a knife edge chop that knocks down Primo. And Macho Man gets sent back into the ring. 
and a knee to the gut. And another knife edge chop. And a big elbow drop. And now, let's see, what's the Macho Man going to do here? Uh-oh, wait a minute. He's going to set him up for the Super Atomic Drop. But Primo keeps coming back up. And a kick right to the leg of the Macho Man. And now Primo pins him. One, two, no, wait. No, a, a rope break. Whips him to the ropes. Duck underneath. Sends him in over the top rope. And a shoulder tackle that sends Primo into the barricade. Stomach first. And the Macho Man is showing us why he was one of the greatest of all time in, in the sport of professional wrestling. And a neck breaker. Followed by a knee drop to the head. And the Macho Man having a few choice words with Primo as to who's your daddy. And another break in the eyes. And a, and a drop kick to the Macho Man. And now, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. The Macho Man... No, wait. I thought for a moment the Macho Man was going to go for his super atomic drop. I'll tell you one thing, uh, Primo's wrestling a good match, other, other than those eye pokes. And another shoulder tackle. And again, and again, Savage is on fire right now. And yes, Macho Man, you are number one in my heart. You will always be the number one guy. You are, o you are always better than Hulk Hogan. And you were better... Then Ted DiBiase, although Ted DiBiase should have won, you know, the the world or excuse me, the the World Wrestling Federation champion championship at Re at WrestleMania four, and then you could have won it off of him. Oh, and another knife edge chop, and another poke in the eyes of the Macho Man. And a, and a knee lift right and a knee and a knee to the head. Uh oh, wait a minute, Macho Man, Ma Macho Man's on fire. And Macho Man is just getting jiggy with it. And now wait a minute, the Macho Man's gonna set him up for the big elbow. And he hits it. Oh, this has got to be it, of course. One. Two, three, and once again, the Macho Man has won against Primo. So, um, for, yeah, we won't have any music because you know we don't, we didn't know who was going to win at this point. But congratulations to the Macho Man, and uh, well, how sweet is that of the Macho Man? And oh my God, Primo, you are such a bastard! How dare you disrespect one of the greatest, if not the greatest wrestler that ever competed in the sport of professional wrestling. How disrespectful are you of you? But folks, we still have time for more matches, so stay tuned for that.